Hey, this is JNM with the next part of the Blender to Unity game asset series. In this part, we are actually going to shoot with the cannon. I added a simple particle system as child object for the smoke that I play when the cannonball is shot. You can see it here in a preview. And there's another empty game object added that I call cannonball spawn. I use this object to dynamically spawn a cannonball at the position of this object and I also rotate it in a way that the forward vector points into the direction I want the cannonball to fly. Ok, I start the game now so that we can see it in action. And I added a bit of testing code, so when I press the R key I can rotate the cannon and when I press G I'm able to shoot the cannonball and the animation and the particle system are played. As I said, this is just for testing the shot and the parameters I used in the script. So let's have a look at this. I have a variable called power, which defines the power of the shot. Then a member that I used to store the prefab of the cannonball. I need to instantiate cannonballs dynamically and this is my kind of template. So let's open the script and see how this is implemented. Here we have the members, the particle system, the cannonball game object which is public so that we can assign it in the editor and the spawn point as transform. Ok, in the start method I get the child objects using the find method. This is the particle system and the spawn point. And in the update method I define the testing code. When I press G key I shoot the cannonball and when I press the R key I rotate the whole cannon. But the interesting part is of course the shoot cannonball method. Here I instantiate a new cannonball game object using my prefab. And as a position I use the spawn object. After that I add a rigid body component to the cannonball that we created. And I shoot the ball by assigning the velocity. As a vector I use the forward vector of the cannonball spawn object and multiply this with the power. To play the animation of the cannon I set the trigger as before and for the smoke I play the particle system. I also start a coroutine after 3 seconds to remove the rigid body that we added to the cannonball. I do this to save resources and we don't need it anymore. Ok, so let's start again and I'll show you how the player can use the cannon now. Because what's really cool is that when you shoot a cannonball, you can also pick it up again because it's an interactable game object. Here is the cannonball, I pick it up and then I use this to load the cannon. I press F to load it. And once it is loaded, I can press F to shoot. Ok, this works quite nicely, now I will add this as a prefab to my low poly game kit. But of course I have to add some more game logic like damage handlers. At the moment you can hit the player with the cannonball <laughs> and he isn't damaged. Some stuff like that, perhaps you also have some new ideas for new game logic elements so please add them to the comments below. Stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you want to help the channel and the game kit grow, then think about being my patron. This would really help a lot. Thanks for watching guys, thanks for your support and I'll see you in the next one.